badges. We ain't got no badges. We don't need no stinking badges. I'm sure you've all heard that line somewhere along the way. And if you look around, there's badges all around us. How many of you have been in Scouts, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts? How many of you have CEO after your name, CFO, President? I don't. Um, <laughs> how many of you have alphabet soup after your name? Certifications that maybe you got, courses that you took. Most of those can't even be defined other than people in your career field. Those are all badges. Heck, the first badge you got was the name you got the day you were born. And as you're going through life, you're continuing to collect badges. When I was coming up with the concept for my talk tonight, I actually went to the TED website to see if anybody had done a talk on badges. I put badges in the search bar. Unfortunately, it did come up, but it didn't come up with a talk on badges. Did you realize that TED gives badges? You could get a TED badge. It's for speakers, it's for you know folks that volunteer or, or places that host, and you can get a TED badge. Well, um, when I was growing up, I was living with a, a mom. There was three of us. Unfortunately, my mom only had an eighth grade education. We were fatherless, so we had a lot of struggles. We lived in the projects. We... Um, had some tough times, and I had some opportunities as a kid to definitely go down the wrong path. But fortunately, when I was seven, my mom signed me up for Cub Scouts. And being in the Cub Scouts and having that father figure and having those mentors really set the pace for my life. They encouraged me to stick with it, and I did, unfortunately, earn my way up to Eagle Scout. A couple weeks ago, I was in the attic of my home getting a sleeping bag for my daughter. And I came across a box that my mom had given me, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. And I was going through that box, and I was looking at all the things that she had put in there. Badges, patches, all these things that I had gotten while I was in scouting. And I was, I was looking at those badges. I, it was bringing up a lot of memories. But it also brought me to the realization that those badges were just physical things. They were pieces of cloth. They were tin. And what I realized is the journey that those things put me on set me up for building a foundation for my life. When I was 17, I went into the Marine Corps, another opportunity to get a lot of badges, ribbons, and some more medals. And I had a great time in the Marine Corps, and I really enjoyed my career. I guess I could say I really loved everything. Well, maybe not boot camp. But um, I was fortunate to have the opportunity to be a leader of Marines. And I ended my career at the White House working for President Reagan and President Bush. How many times in your life do you look at badges and how they identify you and what standards they create in your life? Have you ever had the trophies, the plaques, the awards that you have? I think what you need to focus on is what got you there. So maybe the fact that you did all that running got you in some great shape to get that medal. Or maybe you volunteered and you met some great people and you served your community to get that plaque that now hangs in your office wall. How about the titles at work? Do we put so much emphasis on those titles? We look at those every day and people look at us because of those titles. We can all do good work without a title. We could be a great leader. We could be supportive of those around us without that title. Maybe you carry around a badge of shame that no one's ever going to see. Or maybe you've given up. You're not trying to get those badges anymore. You've lost your drive. Many times we're going through life trying to get that next badge, the bigger house, the better car. Are we missing out on opportunities? Are we missing the time that we could share with our family and our friends? What I encourage you to do is take a little bit of time and think about the badges in your life and how they're identifying you. Go through and, and consider that maybe the possibility is you need to focus on the journey and not the badges. And I hope you choose 
to Brother John. Thank you.